All right, let's see. I woke up at about 8 a.m. on what's today? October 17th. Getting on the scale. And my official weight, 186.4 at the beginning of my another dry fast. All right, day two. One eighty two point seven. Damn, that's a loss of about four pounds in one day. Day three. What I start at one eighty six. One seventy nine point two. This is day three, but let me clarify. Uh, it's only a little bit more than forty eight hours since beginning my fast. So. What's that? Seven pounds in three days. All right. I made it past 72 hours. And in three days, I'm down exactly 10 pounds. And the difficult part of the journey is over. I made it through. And that means everything starts to get better. I've already got, I've already begun the hoarding mango papaya melons uh I got sea moss this time never ever in my life have as crazy as of a like a health nut as I am I, I've never done the sea moss gel so that be there. I got two guavas I got some uh prickly pear cactus and in here I have 20 pears I'm gonna go get 20 more in a day or two. Um, melons. I'm going with melons this time. Because melons, before you eat them, have a pH of about 6 to 6.5. It's the highest pH of all the fruits that I can find. And when it enters the digestive system, it's a pH of about 8.5. So... Uh, something like a lemon has very acidic pH when I consume it and I have a theory that it's too harsh on the digestive system and melons are actually the number one food, fruit juice that we should be breaking fast with. Melons. And so last, you know, during the acidotic crisis, I was like, I don't need to fast. I want to go, I want to get back in the gym. I want to do... I want to fight. I want to um, do stuff. Time is of the essence on this planet. And I, I even tortured myself watching videos of like uh, this guy, Dr. Eris Latham, who lives in Honduras. And he eats only fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, and just like watching him talk about what his kitchen looks like when he wakes up in the morning and this is so this is torture to me i sat and i watched him juice um like pineapple and apples and watched him drink it and i was torturing myself but this is what i do to pass the time well it's one of the things i do to pass the time and i remind myself you know how good there's pineapple juice. I'm not going to drink pineapple. I probably, I'm going to change it around to try something different this time. How, just how good this, this, this tastes is going to, how good it's going to be. So every time I think about quitting, I just remind myself why I'm dry fasting and I push through. Um, because it's just the acidotic crisis. I'm not on day 15 where my blood pressure is, if, you know, I'm, I'm about to pass out. I'm, I'm, I know where I am in this fast. I've done seven days, I've done seven days and 20 hours, and I'm gonna do at least nine this time. And so, the title of this first video is The Three Day Threshold. And that's just 
my way of saying acidotic crisis because that's what it is. I made a video this time last night. I made three of the same videos. Like it was, I couldn't get my words out. That was the acidotic crisis. Um, and it's difficult on a dry fast. If I'm able to drink water during an acidotic crisis, like water, lemon, and salt, then it's easy because I'm replenishing electrolytes. If my purpose is just to flush my system, go through an acidotic crisis, just get my sugar back under control, get my digestive tract clean, three, four, five day fast, acidotic crisis. I'm not even, three day fast, four day fast, acidotic crisis. I'm not even gonna dry fast. I don't need to go that extreme. I'll just drink my, my ATP drink, lemon, lime, salt and water and um that's an easy way to get into acidotic crisis but no i'm dry fasting so it's just that much more difficult now i don't know if i should be um if i should be going by the timer that begins at midnight when i went to sleep which was the time of my last consumption, final consumption, or if I should be going by the timer that began when I woke up at 8 a.m. on October 17th. Either way, I'm, a, I'm right at that three-day threshold. I've crossed the acidotic crisis, and that is the most difficult part of embarking on the journey of dry fasting.